Hello, Dolly Tribe. Hello, hello, hello. This is Evie. It's bath time. Sunshine here today. And today I am here with you all with a set that you guys probably see me post on Instagram months ago, but I'm just now getting to it. So we're going to get into that. Right before we do, I do want to let you guys know. Um, well, I just want to tell you guys, happy whatever day this happens to be. I hope your day is going well. I hope good things are in store for you and are already happening to you. So, Dolly Tribe, Dolly Fam, I just want to say hello. All right. As long as these lights on, no, I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be sweating on when these lights on. Sweating like I've been in a sauna. Okay, well, I found this set at Big Lots. It was $15. And it comes with, it says it's by Play Zone. And it's a fashion doll bathtub set. It has 19 pieces here. And... Let's just get into it. I do like the presentation, the purple with the polka dots. And let's see what else. On the back here, it's just very plain. It says it's the fashion doll bathtub set play zone. Play zone, I need y'all to make some kitchen pieces and a whole bunch of other stuff if you don't already. As you guys see off to the side, we have Faceless Millie. And then we also have Sunshine over here to the right, which is my mini me. So now I'm going to get this set out of the box. I'll be right back. Before I got her completely out the box, she is missing a shoe, but it is in the packaging somewhere. I heard it rattling around. Actually, let's see if I can show you where it's at. It's right there behind the bathtub. You see it on the left? It's her little gray shoe. <laughs> All right, folks, I am back. And I have some of the items out of the box, or I have all of them, actually. And here you can see, is that me? Right there. Oh, there I am. Guys can barely see me. But anyway, here is the sink. And I thought it would be hollow right here, but they did close it off, which is really good. Um, you can kind of see the seams, but, you know, you do kind of have to look kind of hard in order to see any of the seams. Here you can see how they assembled it with um, little screws in there. And these little holes here, there's screws way in the back of them, way in the back of it. And you know, it's kind of, it's kind of hollow, but I mean, looking at it, you really can't tell that. It has a little gray, a matte gray faucet and handles here, the little dials for the sink. And this is what it looks like on the back. Um, I can tell that this probably will handle paint really well. And here is the sink bowl right here. Here is it compared to Sunshine, my mini me. And you can tell that she would have a fairly easy time washing her, washing her hands. See, you have a fairly easy time washing her hands. And she was, and she is on a stand, so. Let me see if I can get her. So yeah. But you know, it's not it's not too bad. I think the size is very good. Okay, and this set, remember, it's from Big Lots. So that's the sink. Next we have the tub here. It's a white tub. And it looks very deep. And it has the little feet at the bottom. And here you can see the faucet and how they got it in there. Um, I'm wondering if you could move the faucet over to this side because it has two little, it had this little node right here or this little indention. Let's see if you can move the sink over this way. Well, you can. It doesn't fit as well, but you can definitely move it if you want it to and secure it there. But this is how it came so this is how it came so i'm not going to you know 
not gonna fuss about that. And it was very easy to take out of the box. Um, very unboxer friendly. If you're an unboxer, the play zone stuff is probably going to be very unboxer friendly. It just came. I just need to remove the little clear plastic and the stuff just came right on out. Even like the smaller accessories came right on out. The only hard time I had was getting this doll out. And this doll is the doll that comes with the set. She, you know, her face is pretty cute. Not going to say anything bad about it, really. It's a cute doll face. Could use some more um, details on it, but it's a very smooth face and not very much um, sculpting went, went on with this doll. She does have ears, but like I said, very little sculpting went on with this doll. And she has blonde hair. Um, it is not a good grade of hair in my opinion, but I don't know. It's very similar to that polypropylene stuff. Um, might even be better than it. I don't know. <laughs> and then here is her, um, robe that she has on. Um, and like I said, she came with these shoes. Very simple little silver shoes or, you know, metallic looking shoes. Let's see what's going on with this this robe okay so the robe um the part to fasten the robe is not sewn onto it it comes right off in this pink terry cloth and then one more time one more look at the doll here before i take the the robe off and her hair has a rubber band around it it would just be all the way down but it has a rubber band but here's how it looks on the back and um this doll is fairly skinny so the fact that this doesn't close very easily or i have to kind of pull it to cover her body makes me wonder if it's even going to be able to i know it's not going to be able to fit sunshine here because she's a curvy like her person in real life but um i i really see this struggling to fit a made to move a regular made to move Probably would fit better a petite made to move doll or a petite, just a regular articulated, a basic articulated doll with the five points of articulation, which this doll has. Here she is in the nude. So there's doll nudity ahead. So she has a little nude bra on and a nude uh, panty. And it says that this is made by Big Orange Toy made in china big orange toy i don't know if you guys can see that right there but that's who plays on i guess is by big orange toy um but she has the basic five points of articulation at the shoulders at the um at the thigh here and then she can move her head only from side to side not really up and down just side to side but yeah this is her hair again it's a pretty color blonde but um, she's she's not doing the best as far as, um, I don't know, her quality. She has the bend and snap doll legs, in case you wanted to know. Bend and snap doll legs. And they're not really bending too much. They bend back. Oh, it has a, little, it has a nicer bend to it than I thought. But her arms don't bend whatsoever. This is the robe. Here is the inside of it. I know they did a better job than I could do, so I'm not going to really critique them that hard. <laughs> but um, they did try to finish all the seams. They did try to finish them. It looks kind of bad, like right here. But they did try to finish the, the seams and stuff on it. So, can't really judge it too badly. I'll see if a made-to-move can wear it. And then we're going to get into the little bitty pieces that it came with. Because it says it has 19 pieces. Oh, I wanted to see if a made-to-move doll can fit in this bathtub very comfortably. Since it is such a deep tub, I'm pretty sure a made-to-move can fit in here very easily. Um, Yeah, pretty sure they can fit in there very easily. So let me get, this is Osandi Elaine. 
Osandi Elaine. She is a Barbie fashionista. Um, I love the Kim Chandra face mold. It's one of my favorites. And this is now my favorite Kim Chandra face mold in my entire collection, even over my Evie doll. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and my Evie doll is pretty much the same face mold. She's just very much darker. And um, I believe her name was Fancy Flowers when they used to give the fashionistas names a long time ago. So let's see if this girl can fit in the tub. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sandy's fitting in here real good, you guys. She fits in here. I don't know if you can see it. Look how good she fits in there. She has pretty good space, so you can make it look like, you know, she has the bubbles and stuff, and that she's just relaxing. Let's see. Let's see if I can make her look like she's, like, seriously relaxing. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if I can put her legs up there. Yeah, I can make her, like, relax really well. So I'm going to leave Osandi in the tub so you guys can see how well it was, just in case you guys want to go get a drink or something during a video and couldn't see how, um, how chill and relaxed she looks in the tub don't go to sleep in there osandi <laughs> we're going to see if we can get osandi let's see if we can get osandi actually to fit in this um in this robe i actually kind of forgot about that for a second um since she only has like a little kind of leisure outfit on right here uh, i think what i'm going to do is just see if we can slip the robe over her and go from there Usually when I'm putting clothes on dolls, I'm sure you guys have done this if you're a doll collector for many years. I just kind of start back here. Everybody, I'm sure, has their own way of doing it. But this is generally how I go about putting things like jackets and shirts and things on my dolls. Yep. I've never been good at doing this on video. I've been, um, uh, I've had my channel for what, three, four years now. And, uh, yeah. So here is the robe on Osandi. Okay. This is the robe on Osandi and she is, um, she looks cute in it you know it's it's good enough to do pictures with there is some loose thread that i that is going to drive me crazy so let me see if i can cut that off right now that's going to drive me nuts so let's see if i can cut it off i don't know i'll tailor it more when i get off screen but yeah this is the this is on a standard made to move like i said i think it's going to fit a petite much better so if you get this set or see this set like I said, I got it months ago, like I think before Christmas and stuff. So that's what's going on right there. Andy over here. And I'm going to actually put the little dolly in there now that came with it. Um, Put her in here. Why does she have a harder time getting in here? I guess because she's not articulated. So this is what's going to happen to your non-articulated dolls. Okay, now she looks better. <laughs> Now she looks a lot better. So I'm going to make sure she gets some some time in here. And then I'm just going to put Osandi right here. So I'm going to get Sunshine right here. Sit in this chair. Good. Sit up here. Sit up there. Okay. I will be right back after these messages. I'll be right back. So, you guys, this is my Integrity Hybrid. I think her name was, um, what was her name? Her Integrity name. Uh, I forgot her Integrity name. Those of you who know who this is, you can put it, put her name in the comment section because I've forgotten what her name is, but she is just so beautiful to me. I named her Iowa St. James. So that's her name. Her name is Iowa St. James. Um, and I'm going to have her um, hold, if I can, hold some of this, some of these small parts. Okay, okay. Okay, girl, okay. You heard me. All right. 
So I was here to show you the scale of some of the items. But um, let me see if I can wave hello to you guys. Hello, Dolly Tribe. I don't know if you can see me there. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's get Iowa up here. Actually, should I move her up a little closer and move this up a little closer? I think I should so you guys can see the items sitting up here. Okay, so I'm going to use the pink stuff first, which are the bigger items. So here is like a soap dispenser of some kind. And here it is with Iowa, so you can see the scale of it. Here it is with Iowa. And then I'm going to put it next to Iowa so you guys can see it. The next thing we have is like a little powder canister or something, some little doodad to put on, you know, your, um, on your dresser or in your bathroom. Maybe it holds cotton balls or, you know, whatever you need it to hold. So there's this item here. And then we have like a, I don't know, it could be a perfume bottle or a lotion bottle. It's pink. It's hollow underneath. Okay. See it in Iowa's hands. And now I'm going to put it right here. If you guys can see that. Sorry about the glare from my camera. And then also we have another little dispenser right here. Could be of soap or something else. Once again, here is Iowa holding it. So you can see the scale. And then I'm going to sit that right there. The next item is a hair dryer in pink. And it's really cute. It has a little hand deal. So I don't know if you can see Iowa holding that real good right there. But there it is. She's holding it just fine. I'm going to sit that up there. And then here is a hair curler. It's in pink. And then here is, or it could be like a brush. Yeah, it's, I think it's a brush actually. <laughs> um, but there, there it is with her holding it. It is getting really windy. It's definitely gonna storm here. In Missouri, um, here's like a, deal that you squirt your hair with water or you can put product in it and squirt it on your hair that sort of thing so it has a little handle let's see if she can hold it no this one for some reason is kind of fidgety so let's see hold it Iowa there we go now spray your hair girl spray your hair quick, quick, quick. <laughs> so here it is it's in purple and it's really cute that's gonna kind of lay flat because it's not gonna sit up it's gonna lay flat. Another flat laying piece here are some purple scissors to trim your hair with. Oh yeah, purple trimmer, trimming, trimming tool. Here's another thing that looks like it's just some hair product. Maybe like some moisturizer or something to go in a doll's hair and it's all in purple. The next thing here is a smaller hair dryer, maybe for maybe a teen or a Chelsea sized little dolly. Um, I don't know what the regular size doll would need with this one, but there is this one. If you guys know what this hair dryer is, let me know. I've never had to use one that small. This looks like some tweezers or something. I don't really know what this one is. Tweezers, or it could be some kind of hair trimmer, like a facial trimmer or underarm trimmer or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. Now here is the curler. Here is the actual hair curler in purple. Here it's really cute lavender. Let's see if I will can hold this one. Nope, she can't hold this one. It's really small. I wonder why they changed the um. Maybe I don't know why they changed the size on it. And then here is a hair straightener, purple one. And I also know I will probably can't hold this one, but I, let, let's try. Just for a trying sake. 
Well, let's do it this way. Okay, so there she is. And she can be straightening her hair out. Straighten, straighten, straighten. <laughs> um, so that's all the items that come in this. It says it's 19 items. And I'm just just sweating like a just it just it's just crazy how I'm sweating. Um, but I don't want to turn the AC on yet. I just I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it yet. So there's that. Okay, you guys. This is the play zone set that I found at Big Lots. And um let me move this back again. There's all the items. Let's move the items this way so you can still see them in the background. I was hoping the hair straightener still. And I'm going to move her right here. And then here is the bathtub again. Here's the bathrobe that comes on it. I put it on my Barbie, my fashionista, Osandi. And then here is the tub. And here's the doll that comes with the set. She's blonde and blue eyes. And she's, you know, she's pretty cute. Um, but she has basic articulation. Remember, the tub is fairly deep. It came with some shoes and this cute pink sink. I think it's really cute. I can't wait to use it. So this is my video, you guys. Thank you for watching. I know it's been a minute. So I'm rusty with the filming and things. But thank you guys so much for watching Dolly Tribe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for dipping with, in the Dolmosphere with me today. And don't forget to keep the sunshine in your life. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.